to this happy place. Welcome. Hey guys, it's Tim, and welcome to episode 76 of the Dreaming of Disney podcast. I'm with my beautiful wife, Audrianne. Hello. Take three. <laughs> Let's just be upfront about this. <laughs> we are having issues with this intro. Well, it's it's, it's and, the equipment. And the we equipment. Have, we have some new equipment, and it just sounds different, so it's it, throwing us off, and we're it, just going to power through this power time. Through. Just keep going. We're just going to keep going. So, um, you know, we've been talking a lot about Disney World the last few episodes. We had TJ on, which was a fun episode last week. We talked about, you know, we asked you all about uh, your recommendations for Mm -hmm. uh, where to eat at Disney World. But we're not talking about that this week. We're not talking about Disney World. No, no. We're, We're talking about a look back. A recap, you know, mm-hmm. like that Spotify wrapped or, you know, those other uh, services where they give you like, here's what you did in the past year. Well, yeah. this is what we talked about in the past year. <laughs> what? I'm, we're doing, we're doing, you know, we're doing about- a, lack, a, a look back. Oh, a this talk- is what we talked about. Oh, I, I get it. Okay. You get it. You get it. Now. Well, this isn't what we talked about. It's what we, what we did. It's what we did. We also talked about it. We did talk about it. We did talk about it. But uh, it was it was a busy Disney year. Yes. Busiest Disney year we've ever had. It was, yeah. And probably will not repeat. No, no. For a long time. No, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yes, I agree that we will not repeat it. <laughs> so it started. So I've just, I'm looking back at pictures. And uh, it started earlier for me than it did for you. It did. Because when, okay, I don't remember the date. Was it January? Um. The last day of Splash Mountain for Disney World. Was it in January or was it in December or November? I think it was in January. I just remember when they announced it, it wasn't, they didn't give uh, that much time. Mm -hmm. So. Because they announced Disney World, but they did not announce Disneyland. Right. But I feel like when they announced what the last day for Splash Mountain was for Disney World, it was, it wasn't that. It was like a month. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. So we had had a trip planned. This was like mid December. We had had a trip planned in February, but I was really worried that Mm -hmm. they were going to announce a date, a last date for Splash Mountain. And it was going to end up being sometime in January. And so my sister and I went down just for a day in January. Um, because, we needed to write it mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. more time. It turns out I wrote it several more times, but, um, so that was the beginning of January, uh, just for a day. It was quick. It was fun. Road splash mountain three times that day, twice in a row at night mm-hmm. and the park was closing. That's when I got soaked and That's it right. was January yeah. and it's freezing dumped water out of my shoe when I walked, like when I took my shoes off back at the hotel, like an hour and a half later, like water fell out of my shoe. Swishing all the way down Harbor Boulevard. Yeah. Um, But anyways, so mine started like right off the bat. It did. So what do you want to do here? Do we just like. Well, I guess one of the, you know, if we, you know, we have what we did, but also there were some announcements you know, at the beginning of the year. So obviously yeah. the, the 100th celebration started in January. Right. So that's when they announced the Disney 100, uh, uh, celebration, which Disneyland was kind of like the, the heart of it all, mm-hmm. um, kind of fizzled out later in the year, but, <laughs> um, but that's when they announced, 
um, you know, new fireworks show, Wonders Journeys, Magic Happens Parade, mm-hmm. uh, all the costumes, the all, food. all the food. And um, and then they announced Toontown was opening back up, mm-hmm. uh, at least partially. Beca- uh, I should take that back. Mickey's and Minnie, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway was opening first. Yeah. That opened in January. Mm-hmm. Be- I believe. Yeah, it opened January 27th, I think. Okay. Beca- I don't know why that date sticks in my head, but I just remember because we went like the first week of February and it had just opened. And sorry, just backtracking a bit. I'm just looking at old pictures and I have screenshots of the wait time for Splash Mountain for Disney World. So oh, yeah. they closed January 22nd. Okay. Okay. And seriously, I, I have a screenshot of it at 200. Which 200 I don't, minutes? Yeah. Oh my which, gosh. But okay. The other day. Oh yeah. Uh, What was it? New Year's Eve? No. Was it yesterday or the day before? It was the day before. It was, uh, yeah, Flight it was of Passage Friday. was like 340 or something like that. So that's yeah, kind of that's crazy. Ridiculous. But anyways, that's has nothing to do with what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so Mickey and Minnie's opened up in January. So that opened up first, uh, followed by, I think the rest of Toontown was in March. Sure. The Sometime next time we went... It wasn't open in February when we went just Mickey and Minnie's, yeah. but the rest of Toontown the next time we went was open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So our first trip, I mean, obviously you had your first trip. Yeah. Without me. I'm sorry. Um, uh, don't even. <laughs> I know. I've been. <laughs> How many times I, have you gone? We're like, I'm in LA. I'm just going to go in and ride some rides. Yeah, I know. That's happened multiple times. Um so our, our first trip as a family was in February and that was also a first for us too, because we stayed at, stayed at an Airbnb right? for the first time. Cause we so went with a group. We went yeah. with a group and yes, it made it, it was a lot bigger. I mean, we had a whole house yeah, and it was a lot cheaper doing it that way, but it, I don't know. It just, it didn't, it didn't feel the same. No, I, I, yeah. I mean, and I know there, you know, Disney World goers don't think there's a Disney bubble in Disneyland. I do. I always felt it even if I wasn't staying at a Disneyland resort. And I totally get what they're saying. It's, you know, huge. What is it? Two times the size of Manhattan or something like that. It's like the size of San Francisco or something well, like that. Um, But it's. Uh, not, but I don't know what I'm saying. I, I still felt that even if I was staying at a good neighbor hotel, just cause that's why I was there and that's why I was spending all my time doing Disneyland things. So I get, there's like a bus stop and there's traffic and there's things that you see, but anyways, what were we talking about? <laughs> Disney bubble saying, say, saying at an oh, Airbnb, Airbnb, yep. Airbnb. Um, so there was that. And then having to like drive in because we like to walk Mm -hmm. even in disney world when you go on a bus or something you're still on like disney transportation where like getting in our own car and then driving felt like it didn't feel like we were going to the park and then also if you have young kids it was just getting the stroller out at the end of the day collapsing it to on the tram to go back to the parking garage and getting it out or, you know, then putting it up to walk them to the car, then collapsing it again to get in the car, then driving, if, you know, we were only like five minutes away or so, getting, having to get the kids out of the car. And like, it was just where when we stay in walking distance, they're in the stroller in the park or now our kids are a little bigger, but the baby, mm-hmm. you know, the youngest yeah. ones, we walk to the hotel, put them in bed. Like it was yeah. just, just way less steps. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it just, I, I don't want to do it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but the trip itself was awesome. Yeah. We started out sick. That's right. The kids were sick. The kids the leading up to kids it. Kids were sick the week before. And you and I fought it the first day and a half. And then the first like, day, like, and, day and, a and a half, we had, we felt pretty sick. That's right. I was pushing, uh, I was pushing through it. Yeah. I was like, Ugh. it's like, I remember we were driving down. And we just both kind of looked at each other. I was like, do you feel sick? 
And you're like, yeah, yeah. I feel sick. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. oh, I was like, I've been feeling it since I woke up this morning. I'm just trying not to say it out loud because I don't want it to be true. Yeah. But thankfully it was just a small little cold. Yeah. We were over it within the next day. Yeah. And, but still it, it started off rough. We're like, oh, we had to keep, we didn't tell the rest of our group. <laughs> we, <laughs> we were, were trying like, to keep it under wraps like, that we like, felt uh, horrible. Yeah, and like, then they all got sick when we got home. <laughs> yeah. So it wasn't COVID guys. Okay. It wasn't COVID. If it was, it was COVID, just, it was we wouldn't cold. have gone. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, but it was, it was, so that was the first time uh, doing Mickey and Minnie's here mm-hmm. in Disneyland. It was a virtual queue. Um, and it's just a great queue. Yeah. It's just such a good line mm-hmm. and uh, was super fun. It was fun with our group. We went, we took some people that had never been, or no, just one person who had never yeah. been, but other people hadn't been in a really they long haven't time. Gone in a long time. And uh, it was, yeah, that was a really, a great way to start what ended up being a very busy, we had no idea. I remember. No, we did not plan this I remember year. at this point, we, after we saw how the last day of Splash Mountain went in Disney World, mm-hmm. we were like, it would be really cool to go on the last day. I remember sitting here. I think we yeah. recorded, we may have recorded even that night and, or the, that same weekend and talking about it and being like, it would be really, but I didn't think we could actually pull it off with no, needing to get someone to no. stay with the kids and all that. Um, but I told my sister, like, since she'd be watching the kids, like we have this idea, we'd like to do it. Like I, we have no idea when it'll be, but you know, just could you watch our kids mm-hmm. if it works out? <laughs> but we didn't know we were going to go then. No, um, no. And then, so that ended up being the next trip, right? Yeah. Was that the next trip? Mm-hmm. I have a feeling that we went a mm-hmm. time before that. No. Yes, you're right. We did. We did. I take it back. We, that's right. We, so, okay. Okay. So first, they announced the last day for Splash Mountain. I yes. have been also, I have to say, so that was in May. Our anniversary was in May, and I had this surprise planned for you that you did not know about. And I was coordinating people's schedules right. to do yeah. this surprise for you. And you come in one day and you tell me that it was when the rumor was it was closing on around our anniversary or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, are you kidding me? And I couldn't tell you why I was so irritated, but it was because one of the dates that like I could get these people for the surprise all together. And um, that ended up being a rumor. I can't remember what that date was, but. So then they announced the date. And as soon as they announced it, my sister happened to be over. And I was like, can you watch the kids these two days? (laughs) (laughs) And it was. It was also like, I know we talked about it, but, uh, or I guess it was two nights. So like two and a half days that mm-hmm. we'd be gone. And it was also the next day was our kids last field trip of the year. It was like mm-hmm. the last day of school field trip to a water park. They had really wanted to do it. We were leaving that school. So I wanted to do it. And I was like, Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, I don't care. So she's here and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to book a hotel and we can decide later. So she was like, yeah, yeah, that should work. So I booked it right then. Like yeah. just, and we'll figure it out. Like if we can't go, we'll cancel. But like, I just, I booked it. Um, and then that was sometime in April, I think. And then after that, we had just started talking about how the boys really wanted to go on hyperspace mountain. Right. So that was yeah. May 30th or 31st, May 31st, right? I think it's May 31st. Was, was the last, last day of Splash Mountain. Yep. So we booked that. Then we were like, man, it would be so great to surprise them and take them just for like a day and a half to ride Hyperspace Mountain because, you know, huge Star Wars fans, two of them love at the time, only two of them loved Space Mountain. Mm -hmm. We were like, they would love, they've never always wanted to go on it. Uh, Like we could surprise them, just do a short trip and that would be our summer trip. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be our one summer trip. That'd be our one summer trip. Um. And so we decided to book that and that was before that was, we went like, it was May 5th, May 15th, 15th, like uh, middle of May. Yeah. I have some pictures from there. And it it was just a quick, it was a quick one to see. It was through 
uh, May 16th. So it was a one night, two day, two day, one night. Oh, we were so tired. Oh, wait, that's, oh, here it is. Yeah. Where did we stay? I believe we stayed at Paradise Pier. Did we? Oh, yeah. So. Paradise Pier was our hotel of choice this year. Yeah, we stayed. We stayed there quite a few times. We stayed there for, okay, so I'm trying to think. So I'm trying to look back at this trip. I just don't really (laughs) remember. They all blend together. Oh, this is when we did like the festival or Tales. Which one is Festival of the Lion King and which one's Tales of the Lion King? One's Uh, in Disney World and one's here. Tales of the Lion King's Disneyland. Okay. That's the first time we saw that. And we were like, this is amazing. This is the first time we went to Toontown that it had like fully opened. Yeah. And Um, the uh, Goofy's like house with all the the slides and everything. It was so busy. Oh my gosh. I was having a panic attack. The 100 lavender pretzel. Um, Yeah. So that was a quick trip. The boy, we got our... Our 10 year old son who didn't want ever want to do Space Mountain got, you know, we got him to go on it and he loved it. Looking at the picture of you and the three boys on it is so cute. <laughs> um, so then, then we knew that we were coming back in two weeks <laughs> for <laughs> the last day. Oh, Georgia. She, I can't believe, like, looking back at these pictures, it's breaking my heart because she's just like, she looks so different now. Like she's like such a little baby here and she's all big. Um, okay. Anyways. So splash mountain. Where do we even start with that one? That one we stayed at paradise pier. We stayed at paradise Um, pier. So that one, we, we partnered up with, uh, Johnny J with a DMSW podcast, Hannah from Learning the Magic podcast. They did an initiative called uh, Podcast Mics for Magic, where they raised money for the uh, Children's Hospital of Orange County um, Foundation. They raised like something like seven thousand dollars, which, mm-hmm. which is great. Um, fireworks are going uh, off in yeah, the, like, in the background. Uh, it's uh, New Year's. Uh, it's new. It's a New Year's Eve, so that's what you expect. And cheering. Um, <laughs> oh, it's nine o'clock. So is that it, they're celebrating East Coast time? Oh yeah, it's nine o three p.m. We're so. not in the East Coast, people. You still no. got three hours. <laughs> um. So, what was I saying? I got distracted. I'm sorry. The Chalk Foundation. So yeah. So um, we did a whole bunch of stuff for that. So we we met up with with a group there for the last day of Splash Mountain. We did a kind of a meetup. Mm-hmm. We had uh, Hannah and Johnny and uh, Brian and, and Tracy, Tracy from Rope Dropping Knowledge Podcast. Uh, that's where uh, we met Bethany and Haley from Moms with Magic. Plan- mm-hmm. Well, plans Moms and with crowns. Magic, Moms with Magic Plants, Moms with Magic Crowns. Uh, we met Elisa from Bashley Ever After Co. Mm-hmm. I know I'm forgetting some, sorry. <laughs> um, but it just, it was just, it was so fun. It, it was, was, it was also the first time that we like, cause we, we've met these people through Instagram and the podcasting community, Disney community. So it was cool to, to, to meet them in person and, and to uh, kind of hang out with them. Yeah. It was also the first time you and I had been away from the kids in years. That's right. Because it was the first time I'd ever left Georgia, our youngest. And before that, we, it was COVID. And so we hadn't been away overnight alone. For like four years. For like four years before that. Yeah. Yeah. 2019. Yeah. Unless you count the hospital when I was in labor, which that doesn't count. (laughs) Um, We had had like a couple very short, quick date nights, like seriously, like less than a handful. Um, And so that made it really nice. And it was also right after our anniversary. Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. um, that was really nice. And it was just, it was just an exciting day. Yeah. And like our whole goal was to just do Splash Mountain. Like, Mm -hmm. so we didn't really care. I mean, like not in a rush to get everything done. We'd also just been there. Um, 
I started super early. Mm-hmm. Um, I have the whole, if you're curious about the last day of Splash Mountain and, and videos and things, I have a highlight bubble on our Instagram um, of all of our stories from that day. Cause we, um, that was another kind of fun thing. That was the first time we went where we could just like, not to sound super annoying and like, <laughs> quote unquote influency, but like get focus content. on content, <laughs> like, and not feel like, oh, we shouldn't be just trying to get content because we're with our kids. Like we weren't with our kids and this, we wanted to document the day yeah, for us, but also like for the podcast. Mm-hmm. And so it was kind of fun to like not feel guilty about, yeah. <laughs> about doing that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a super fun day. We started really early. I think we left our hotel room a little after six and got in line for security. And yeah, um, yeah. we did go back for a nap, but like it, it was, it was awesome to, mm-hmm. to be there. And um, it was our last ride of yeah. the day. I, yeah. You know, I wanted to do like, we kind of wanted to do it one more time, but then by the time we were done with our last ride, our last ride was so perfect mm-hmm. that it, and then the line, they, I, I think they closed the they line closed down. They closed the line not long after we were off. Yeah. Um, and if we did that, I think we had missed out on like the, the opportunity where we just kind of sat there and watched. Yeah. And, and it, then we got to know Bethany and Haley and Brian um, and Tracy, Brian and Tracy, Erica, oh, and Erica, from Erica, yeah, Feminist Princess on yeah. Instagram. Um, and so we got to chat with them for a little bit and just kind of watch. Mm-hmm. Um, also, something new that we did that trip was also Ogus Cantina. Oh, yeah, we had that never done f- that before. It was the first yeah. time that we did that, even though it's been open for so many years, as you know, the kids aren't interested in going into a you know bar. I don't what? know why. I actually think uh, they would probably get a kick out of I mean, it they just because, like, they, the they cantina. They do have, like, non-alcoholic type drinks yeah. and stuff. But, well, uh, and they would get a kick out of it just from the scene and being in a Star Wars-themed yeah. place. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, that was definitely one of the top trips. Yeah. Well, I'll year. get into some questions for you later. So, oh, okay. You know, yeah. don't don't name anything yet. All right. I won't. Um. But so, and then. So like after that, we were like, okay, <laughs> I think we're good. We're, we'll go. Because we're no, like. Oh yeah. Cause we, we had our, our Disney world trip planned for August. Yeah. So we were like, okay, that's it. The kids went like, cause usually we go in the winter and in the summer mm-hmm. and we're like, okay, we just did our summer trip early. We, we did it in May so that they could do hyperspace mountain instead of, we usually went in August. So, but we're going to Disney world in August. So they're, they're good. We went in May and then we heard about, what was it? Rogers. Rogers it, it was, the musical. Rogers pulled us in. So, and also I had become a summer rep for Haley. That's right. And I had these crowns and I really wanted to get more content with my crowns. <laughs> oh, 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 I know what else it was. We hadn't seen Wondrous Journeys. That's right. And we really wanted to see it before it left. This was, again, we didn't know about another trip that would be coming up. <laughs> so we didn't think that we were going to be going again to Disneyland for the rest of the year. We thought we were going to Disney World. Yeah. But we were like, oh, we're done. And then we're like, oh, Rogers, the musical it leaves at the end of August or yep. July. August? July. Uh, I believe it was August. August. It was August. Yep. And Wondrous Journeys is leaving in the fall and we never got to see it like in front of with the projections mm-hmm. and everything. So we were like, OK, what if we just do a quick trip in July? Like, <laughs> we'll just like just to see, you know, that that that'll be the focus. Um so we did it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was I blame, a pretty, it was a three day part it was, of this community because it, it was a three day trip. So it we, wasn't like, just like, Oh, let's just do like a one night thing. No, we did like two nights. And you know, if you've listened to us on a semi-regular basis, you have probably heard me complain about how busy the parks are now and how it didn't used to be this way before social media we're part of the problem. And we're part of the problem. We're part of the problem. Because then 
if we didn't have social media, we wouldn't really have known about Rogers or Wondrous Journeys leaving, and we never would have booked another trip. We are definitely part of the problem. Well, I think also we have to blame Disney <laughs> part of this. I we're, blame everybody we, we but can't, our lack of we, self-control. We, we can't, we're, we're not the only reason. Disney is creating these things and taking them away from us. Mm, kind of like how they used to do the vault. Yeah. Oh, you better buy this movie now because it's going to go back in the You vault. know who invented that? Yes, I know. Chapek Chay- paid paycheck. Ch- hang on, I'll get it. <laughs> it's been a while since we talked about him. Paycheck Chapek. Yep. Bob Chapek created the vault. He came up with the idea. Um, and so it's a it's a time tested technique of Disney. Oh, man. Really any business. This was a fun know, trip. I'm looking at pictures in July. We stayed at the Disneyland Hotel. We stayed at the Disneyland Hotel. It was so It was hot. So so hot. We had this the cooling summer, towels. This summer was especially hot. Oh my gosh. This it was, was a hot summer. It was so hot. We watched the parade and Gigi like saw princesses and waved to him and I cried. Yeah. Literally, you guys, we, I cried. We saw magic happens when we went for Splash Mountain's last day. That was the first time we saw right. the parade. Right, we watched it with everyone. Well, and, yeah. then, and then we were like, hey, this is pretty cool. And so that was, we got, it was two things. We wanted to watch three things. The shows. We, we wanted to do Wondrous Journeys, Magic Happens, and then Rogers. Well, also World of Color. And World of I Color. I wanted to do World of Color because when we were there in February or sometime, no, it wasn't February. No, we didn't watch. We, no, we didn't no, we watch, watched it in February. We watched World of Color 1 in February. With everybody, with our yeah. group. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm thinking so of a different time. So we watched that one. Forget what I'm saying. But That one we weren't really pulled to it, watch it, again. Yeah. It was kind of a one and done type thing. But we wanted to watch the shows in Disneyland. We weren't like rushing to rides or anything. We wanted to get like a good spot for shows. And we did. We got, we got the exact same spot for the parade. It was a great spot for the parade. It was so hot though. So I remember hot. we were just oh waiting for gosh. the sun to go down. Cause even sitting on the sidewalk, like it was burning our butts. <laughs> Cause it was so it was hot. hot. Pavement and then was hot. We were sharing. We had like we only have like three cooling towel. Why didn't I have more? No, I had four. No, we, but there's six of us. They, so yeah. I should get some more. Um we were like sharing the cooling towels. It was just it was so I think we hot. Ha- we had enough for everybody. It's just no, we, only, we had four. We have four. We only have four. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I should get two more. Um but uh oh and I I ran to take the boys on I ran to take him on Autopia and we, when we, you guys were waiting for the fireworks because we camped out for two hours. We waited for like an hour for the parade. You went and Mm -hmm. got dinner and then we just moved over and we got a spot right in front of the castle, like no one in front of us. So we waited there for two hours. So I remember running to take them to Autopia. We got there. The wait was way too long. And I saw that Big Thunder was only like 15 minutes. So I'm like running and I didn't want to tell them because that's right. I yeah. didn't want to get there and then it'd be like 45 minutes because, yep. you know, if you see it on the app and you're running across the park, chances are it's going to be higher when you get there because mm-hmm. um, everyone sees it. And, but it was the same and the sun was going down and it was a good time. And Boston was like, I want to ride it when it's totally dark. <laughs> um, and then the fireworks were super fun. Uh, lots of bubbles, lots of Mickey. Uh, oh, this is when we tried the, uh, uh, what is it called? The Berea. Uh, the, oh, the Berea tacos. Yes. Yeah. Those are super good. Oh, 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 and then Rogers. Okay. And this was also first time that we, we had, we swam twice at the pool at Disneyland Hotel. We swam. I, I didn't swim at all. But you didn't. Y- yeah. It was when, because when we first got there, we were waiting for our rooms. Yes. It took a while. Yes. Um, so you took the kids swimming and I was waiting. I took yeah. the kids swimming and we hung out by the, the slides and the kids loved the slides. And then that was the first day. And then the second day we did the pool break. Um, right. Yeah. While Georgia napped. Yeah. So I'm, yeah, I'm getting distracted looking at pictures, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah and then, Rogers. so Rogers, it was really fun. I mean, it wasn't like, I mean, I think, I think it was very, it was well done. I think, you know, 
I I was mistaken too at first because I was thinking there's not much Avengers. And I'm like, oh, because this is supposed to be the musical like that you only see a clip of in Hawkeye, not yeah. like about the Avengers. It's about well, Captain it's, America. It's about Captain, the, the, the events. It's called Rogers, yeah, not from Avengers. from his point of view, yeah. But it was really fun. Even the it boys was. were like entertained by it and they hadn't seen any of the- mm-hmm. They're not in the Marvel that they're much. Not, they're starting to get into it more now, but they, with Spider-Man and stuff, but they weren't yeah. at the time, they hadn't even seen Spider-Man. So, um, uh, Cold Brew, oh, yeah. Mickey and Minnie. So then, so yeah, so this, this was a good trip. Short, fast, so insanely hot, but we had a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of fun. Um, lots of bubbles. Lots of bubbles. You bought a new bubble blower I, for Georgia. Yes, because her other one broke, so I bought her the Little Mermaid one. Wait a second. But she's taking that one. To- anyway, okay, that doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Um, oh, my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> She's just so stinking cute. Okay. Um, okay. So then, so this is. So now we're like, so we're done. We're, we're, done. we're done because this we're is, done. this is middle of July. Yep. And then you and I are going in to Disney world to Disney world in, in August in a month. Yeah. In in six weeks, we got to go buy our plane tickets. I don't think we knew. Did we know that no, we were we going didn't. yet? We July 28th. We were there July at the end of July. We had to know then because we didn't buy plane tickets. We knew. That we weren't going? We knew. Because there's, we would have already bought plane tickets at this point. And we had it because we had, we knew. Did we? I don't remember. We honestly. had to have known because this would have only been a month before our trip. And we, so at, if, if it wouldn't have gotten canceled, we would have bought plane tickets and we never got that far. I guess that's true. So I think we yeah. found out right before this. So I think we did know. We did know we were going to go again. But before this, we didn't. Before this, we thought... This is our last Disneyland trip because Mm -hmm. we're going to Disney World. Then that got postponed about six weeks. It was six weeks. Yeah. It was six weeks before because we were about to buy plane tickets. And uh, and so then instead of, uh, you know, a week in Florida, we were like, okay, at least we want to do a weekend Because we didn't, we haven't done anything for our anniversary. I guess you could count Splash Mountain. We did do Splash Mountain, but we didn't do anything for, like we were alone, but it wasn't like- for our, our anniversary. anniversary. Yeah. We knew that we were planning this trip in August for our anniversary. Because mm-hmm. um, we thought it would be a better time to go. <laughs> um, and then, so at first we weren't even going to go to Disneyland. We were just going to do a weekend away at a beach. And as we always do, we... <laughs> Get sucked we back got in. We got sucked back in. And um, so we went for two nights at the end of August and we, where did we stay? We stayed at Disneyland Hotel Hotel. again. And that was, again, it took us forever to get our room. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Um, And that is when we met Haley, a different Haley, different Haley, Haley Stewart with, um, let me get her Instagram, right? Happily ever Haley travel. Uh, She's a, a Disney planner as well. Mm -hmm. Um, But she Mainly does Disney She's, World. Yeah, more Disney World, Universal in Florida, because that's her home park. But she was out for um, like a conference for, for Disney travel planners. And so we just messaged her. I mean, we've, we've messaged back and forth before this on Instagram, but we yeah. um, we messaged her and we were like, she was like, yeah, let's meet up. And so we just got to meet her for a few minutes before or, um, in front of the castle. Uh, but she was so sweet. And, uh, took a picture and, um, offered to take us up to club level at Disneyland hotel. Yeah, she splurged. It was, uh, well, she was, it was part of, she was part of the. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. The, like, she's not concierge. Um, I can't, I don't remember. I don't know what, but, um, she's a travel agent. Anyways. So, uh, we never, our, our schedules never lined up again, but, um, we got to meet her, which was super fun. Um, and this was, this was a really good trip. Like we, again, we're just taking our time. Um, this new things, this, we did the, we did the Mark Twain, did the Mark Twain. (laughs) Someday you'll share about the trivia we learned. I'll, I'll do the trivia maybe in 2024, Mm -hmm. maybe next year I will do it sometime. 
Maybe. I still, I still remember the trivia. Okay, good. So, so. It'll, it'll happen. It'll, 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 it'll happen. It'll happen. Um, so, yeah, we did Mark Twain. You did the the spa, the spa at Grand California. Grand California. You got me a, a massage and that was great. Although I will say, I think I said this on our recap, um, but I got a massage in the morning. And yes. then we went into the park. Mm-hmm. I would reverse that and do your massage before you head home mm-hmm. because I was like relaxed and I felt good. And then you're going on rides and getting all jerked around and like tensing up. And I'm like, I feel like I just undid like everything. She, <laughs> Cause she told me to, she's like, you held a lot of stress in your neck and your shoulders. I'm like, yes, 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 I do. And she recommended that I get regular massages for all the stress that I hold in my <laughs> back. And I was like, that's a great idea. It's called being a mother of four kids. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that would be amazing. But um, so just a thought, because I'm like, man, if I ever get to do this again, I want to do it like right before we leave so that I can like go home all like, oh, but that was great. I could. It was. Yeah. Um, and we did brunch. Oh, and we did brunch at Loop Light Lounge oh, right after that. So good. And that was really good. We didn't think we were going to get to, but we waited and we were persistent oh, and stared them down because <laughs> it's all I wanted. I was starting to get grumpy because I was like, no, I want breakfast food. Because at this time it was lunch. Yeah. And you were like, we could go here and here, but everywhere it was lunch. I'm like, no, I want breakfast food. I, I, <laughs> it's my favorite. You were hangry. And I was like, had my heart set on a good breakfast. And thankfully we got in right at the last minute and we got Worked the French toast and it was so good. Oh my gosh. You got the, um, um the, what's that cocktail it was, called? It's the cinnamon toast crunch cocktail. Yeah. Um, we both got it. You weren't crazy about it. So I had both of them. <laughs> you finished it. it <laughs> they were very good. Very good. Um, also we did, um, we did Grizzly River Run at night. That's right. And it, got added to what my list of rides that are better at night. Like it was so fun. Like, and this was May. It was, you know, no, no, I'm sorry. This was August. This was August. It was hot. Um, not as hot as it was in July, but it was hot. Um, so it wasn't as big of a deal going on at night, you know, mm-hmm. but like it, we didn't even get actually get that wet, but yeah, it was just so fun. It was just, it's good in during the day, but yeah. I know. Yeah. And another new thing, we had dinner at Wine oh, Country yeah. Trattoria. Yes. That was really good. That was good. really good. I got like a vegetarian lasagna and it was so good. I had chicken parm. This is where we first saw our, our future our first selves. yourselves. Our, okay. You'll have to go back if you're curious <laughs> about this story, because I'm not going to retell it because it's long, but go back and listen to our, this will probably be the end end of August or early September episode about our, our trip recap, we saw our future selves yeah. and then we kept running into the, Oh yeah. man, and it like was not so on, great. We not on purpose and like different parks and yeah. different areas. Then in downtown Disney, like we kept seeing our future self. Oh, yeah. it was so great. Yeah. All on that um, same day or was it? Did no, we, no. We saw them the next day too. When we did we, saw, we see them? them when the did first, we see them at mid camp minis? It was later that night. Okay. Yeah. So we were in California adventure eating dinner where we first saw them. And I was Uh like, we were just, I was just watching this couple. Like I was just like, kept it. I was just like, I'm curious about this couple. And then I just made a joke. I was like, that's us in like 20, 30 years (laughs) and uh, 30. Yeah. It could be 30 years. And uh, wait, no. Oh gosh. No, 30 years. Oh my gosh. No, it'd be 20. (laughs) Ouch. Anyways. No, we would not be in our 60s in, in Babe, 20 they years. Were, I don't think they were in there. They were in their 60s. I have a hard time judging because they were in their my 60s. My parents died young. <laughs> they're in their 60s. Okay, they're in their 60s. She took a real down low I'm here. I'm sorry, but I do. I have a hard time judging that because <laughs> of that fact. Okay, so anyways, and then so then later that night we we park hopped. Yeah. And we, we did Matterhorn during the fireworks and oh, it was just yeah. by coincidence and it was awesome because it, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, we wanted to do Mickey and Minnie's. So we were like, oh, we're going to, as soon as they open Toontown after the fireworks, we'll go. And then we're in line and they are 
right in front of us. We were all like, oh my gosh. We were in the same group with, as them. We were in the same car and uh, we, it was just, were we, yeah. were we in the same? We were sitting behind, I have video. Right, we were right, sitting behind right. them yeah. and then we took video during the dancing scene because yeah. we were sitting behind them. We're like, oh, that sucks. And then we and then saw we, them the next day. The next day. day we were leaving and we saw them in downtown Disney. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. It was just funny. Anyways, that was, a, that was a super fun trip. It was adult time and, um, it was great. That was our last trip. And now this has been that the longest, um, this has been our longest break break this year. So that was end of August. So September, October, November. So it's only been four months and I feel like it's been a really it's long been, time. Yeah. But I we went. We used to go years between trips. Yeah. The, well, yeah. Like when we first started going together, we went when we first got married. Mm-hmm. Then we didn't go again until like two years later, two and a half years later. Then we went another like two years or so. Mm-hmm. Um. And that was partially, you know, I was pregnant. I never want. And we before, had little kids. It was really hard to Yeah, go. we took. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I take it back. I take it back. Because Jack went when he was nine months and then he went again when he was 18 months. But then it was a year and a half after that. Mm-hmm. Because he was 18 months. Then I got pregnant with Noah and we didn't go until Noah was like six months old. Yeah. So that was like a year and a half. But then after that, we've gone at least twice a year since Noah was born. Even when I was, yeah, we went true. when I was pregnant with Boston, I was like, oh, I don't care. I used to not want to go when I was pregnant. Yeah. Cause I was just like, oh, I can't ride big rides. I'm like, I don't care. I just want to be there. So I Food. went when I was pregnant with Boston. And then, uh, when Boston was only like two months old, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and then there was the big break when they were closed for over Obviously, a year. Obviously, yeah. Um, that was our biggest break since Noah was a baby. Yeah, that's true. Um, but this year was insane. Like, we never go this much. It was... Put some miles on the car. Yes. Um, and then this... So this next, you know, year, upcoming year, we have... We were just talking about it. Like, our, <laughs> our two big trips are two weeks apart, which we, I don't like because then if it already feels yeah, like it, we haven't lot. been in a long time and it's only been four months, we're going to go in the summer. Oh, we're definitely like, going to go. Gonna go. Like we were like, okay, wait, but then that'll pro- that has to be it. Like we'll go, we're going in February. Your family's all coming with us. Then mm-hmm. you and I are going to Disney world. We'll go sometime during the summer. Well, we talked and about th- this. That'll be it. You well, guys no. just see what happens. Well, we talked about, you know, there's going to be, there's going to be seasons of the force. Oh, because we want to do Pixar and Fest. And Pixar Fest. So there's May. So Stupid season of the social force, media, you guys. Season of the force is only in May. Ugh, that's not a great month though. I See, know. and here's the thing too, is we, I think we, we touched on. Because the boys are going to want to go on Hyperspace Mountain. Right. But again, we, we touched on this a couple episodes ago, I think, that I am no longer homeschooling. Currently. That's true. Anyways, I'm sure it'll change. But we're currently, I am not homeschooling. And so we don't have as much flexibility. So that's the end of the yeah. school year. Our oldest is in eighth grade. Yeah. So it would have like, to be a weekend because we always wanted to go during the weekday because yeah. it's slower. Now we're forced to do, you know, weekends, which is going to be And busier. I'm not going to lie. It was a factor. Like it, it was on my con list when we oh, were trying to, to decide- to make this huge life decision and and change, like I was like, but oh man, Disneyland trips like we we won't have as much flexibility <laughs> in going to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, your mom also said that to me when they started. She was like, oh, can't go to Disneyland whenever you want. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no. yeah, we can. <laughs> we'll just oh, we'll know, still do it. They'll, they'll be fine. They'll catch we'll, up. <laughs> we'll check them in the school for like an hour, and then we'll check them out. And Take we'll, them out. Yeah, then we'll head down the. They'll be, fine. They'll be fine. They learn when they're there. They read the <laughs> plaques and stuff. So, um, okay. So that, that was a not so quick rundown. Yeah. Um, but I have some questions okay. if, if, if you're done with the rundown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go for it. So out of those trips mm-hmm. overall, and I don't think I have an answer to this question, but what was your favorite trip? Favorite trip. Yeah. Not, not like day or, but like overall the, the whole trip. 
Oh, that's hard. It is hard because I sound like a horrible father if I don't pick one with our family. Oh, no. I have I have a feeling you're going to say August, me and you. Actually, I was going to say Splash Mountain. Oh, overall. Overall. The whole Re- trip, babe. We were only there for a day. I know. Um, we left super early the next morning and then went to a water park. <laughs> I know. It was like, it was we're such so a- tired. It, we were so tired. But it was just, it was so different from what we've- all we've always done, mm. even, even when it was just us, our August trip for our anniversary, it was still a lot of the same of what we usually do. Splash Mountain was like, we had one purpose. Yeah. And it was just, it was a lot of fun. It was different even though it was extremely tiring. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, they were all so good. They were, yeah, we had a lot of good. But that one just kind of goes a little bit, you know, ticks up farther on the list just because it was just so different than what we've done in the past. Plus it was, it was a, like, it was like a big deal. Like we've never been part of these types of things that you see on social media. Right. Where these things that go viral or the closing down of certain rides and stuff like that. We've never been part of that and being able to witness these types of things. So being there to witness the final day of Splash Mountain was was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. What about you? Um, oh my gosh. This is was just in September. Look at her hair. Oh, wow. Sorry, listeners. But like, I was just looking, looking at baby a, a pictures. picture of my daughter. Not babies. She's not a baby anymore. Sh- sh- Toddler pictures. Just for a few months ago, her hair has just gotten so long. Um, I don't know why. But I think the trip in July with the kids. Yeah. It was so stinking hot. But like. It was still really I think fun, because though. we had gone so much, we were just like, we didn't care what we did really, except we wanted to watch the shows. Yeah. But like, uh, there was no like, oh, we have to get on this ride. It was just like, hey, whatever ride we can do with like a good wait time. Like, I don't know. I just, I just remember having a good time. And then Georgia and the parade. <laughs> Um, my, I've taken, my kids have seen lots of parades and when they, there was the Pixar parade when the boys were little was super fun. They were, they loved the lightning. They loved Woody and seeing them, but watching my first and only daughter see the princesses <laughs> and stand up and wave to them. Yeah. Literally brought to your, made me cry. Um, yeah. I'm just remember just, I'm watching Rogers Like just overall, I just remember having fun and I think we were just relaxed. Like we weren't in a rush for anything, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember getting like, oh my gosh, it's hard. And then it's like crowded and you're like, but I don't know. I just overall, when I initially think of the feeling, it was like, that was fun. Yeah. It was a good one. It was. Yeah. Um, But also the, the February trip was really great too because we had a big group and it was fun to go with people that you know they haven't gone in a while they haven't gone in a long time and and just and the the boys had so much fun uh yeah so that one was really fun but yeah july i just i don't know i just really liked that one and yeah okay so my next question okay hit me I think I know your answer to this one. I think it's going to be the same as mine. Okay. It's a close call because, again, my daughter. Favorite moment. Favorite moment. Did you have, like, a standout moment? (sighs) Again, I'm conflicted. Oh. Because watching the parade with Georgia, because she was sitting on my lap. Yeah. 
<laughs> she's so amazing. And she's just, you know, getting a kick out of all the characters and the princesses and the f- frozen float c- came by and she was stood up and wanted to wave to Anna oh, and Elsa. And, and uh, you know. She, Can you guys tell that we like really <laughs> love her? We're obsessed with her. Um, <laughs> we love all our children. We do. We do. Um, but then riding Splash Mountain for the last time. <sighs> During the fireworks. That was totally not even planned. Amazing. One that's that's tied with the, I don't want to say tied, but very close to those two. Well, another one that wasn't expected. Riding Matterhorn. Audrian's over here just looking at old baby pictures <laughs> of Georgia and just bawling. <laughs> I don't know why that popped it, up. I'm not wasn't even, even, it wasn't even, even a Disney picture. It's not, it just, it, I don't know why it's in the middle of this year because this was two <laughs> years ago. I don't know why. Why is it here? Why are you trying to hurt me? Um, but writing d- in during our August trip, just me and you, Matterhorn during the fireworks. Yeah. That was really cool. That was so cool because it's like they're right above You're like you. In the middle of it. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm going to have to say Splash Mountain, last yeah. day, last ride during the fireworks. Yeah. Totally not planned. And that just being awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That was my favorite moment too. Yeah. Because it, yeah. And, and it's something we'll never get to repeat. No. I no. mean, yeah, we could go on Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And try to get on it during the fireworks, yeah, but it like, won't. Not it's not the same. same. It's not, not the same because it's not the um, last time that you're ever going to ride a ride, iconic yeah. ride like that. Yeah, and the fact that it was during the fireworks. Zip zip, <laughs> zip it uh, doo da. Yeah, it was. Um, that was, but that it was. It was the same. I was like, oh man, the parade with Georgia. That was- <laughs> was great but yeah uh, sorry georgia you'll have other parades <laughs> <laughs> also taking her on made her for the first time <laughs> <laughs> kidding she cried she hated it yeah because uh, she kept banging her head against the back <laughs> she was like ow ow i do see a problem though in the future because no no you don't um you know, she likes watching videos of, you know, when we go to Disneyland and, and mm-hmm. especially we likes watching Small World. But she's been getting a kick out of when she sees the teacups. And she wants to ride the teacups. I did take her on the teacups uh, either in May or July. You had taken the boys on like Space Mountain or Star Tours, I think. And I took her to Fantasyland and I just didn't spin it. Mm. Yeah. So, so she's been one to write a teacups. We'll need to bring that some will other. That not be me. Well, once she. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Once she's seven, <laughs> 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 she can go with her brothers. Oh, wait, but her oldest. Well, but by then, they'll, the, the two middle will be old enough to go on it with yeah. her alone. Because uh, the oldest doesn't like to spin. I used to love the teacups, but. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Um, I was having a hard time. I just had to keep my eye on her. I couldn't look up at anything. Yeah. I just kept watching her and I didn't spin it really. Um, so she'll, we'll have to go with someone who uh, likes to spin and can take her and spin her around. All right. Yeah. Got another question? Or was no, that it? no, that was that's it? it. Sorry. I'm just distracted by pictures. Again. <laughs> so, I think one thing that we can end it on things that look forward to for next year. So there's been a handful of announcements, um, Disney world, Disneyland, um, things that are coming in 2024. More pictures. So, yeah, it was just a video when we went for Splash Mountains last day and we were watching the parade. I remember there was that teenage girl sitting next That's to me right. who she was kept- like reaching her phone across my like personal space, like right in front of my face to get video of the parade. But it was like 
um, sweetie, just keep it in front of your face because the parade's going to pass you. <laughs> like we were both <laughs> sitting on the curb, but she has it like over and her arm is like across my face. <laughs> uh, anyways. So I know this announcement made a lot of people happy and I'm not enti- I'm not hundred percent sure this is coming to Disneyland, but, um, park reservations are going away January 9th. For Disney World. For Disney World. Did I know this? I believe so. So if you buy a ticket, uh, if you buy, if you're, so not pass holders, not annual pass holders. Oh, okay. Or cast members. Um, but if you're a, if you're buying a ticket for a specific date, you no longer have to make a reservation because those okay. tickets are tied to a date. Okay. Um, and also uh, park hopping at a specific time is going away as well. Right, right. So for Disney you, World. For Disney World. So you don't have to wait until 2 o'clock for Disney World. Disney World is 2 p.m. Disneyland is 11 a.m. Um, mm-hmm. You no longer have to wait till 2 p.m. to park hop. So you can check into your first park, be there for like an hour, and then go to your next park. So that's coming January 9th in uh, Disney World. Um Dining plans are coming back to Disney World. Um, I thought they already came back. N- well, you can start making reserve. You can start adding them onto your vacations. Oh, for next year. For next year, but they don't officially come back until January 9th. Um, the big one that's coming in 2024 is Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Yes, but we don't know when. Don't know yet. All they have said is late 2024. Late. And it's assumed that Disney World will open first because they closed first and started construction first. Mm-hmm. And then Disneyland would come sometime after that. Hmm. So there's so another trip. <laughs> there's another trip. Late 2024. Um, also another one. Uh, Country Bear Musical Jamboree is is going to be uh, refurbished. refurbished and updated. Apparently is very... Um, controversial. We never, we never really watched it. I've never, no, I've never. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, let him laugh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done it. Um, maybe when I don't remember when it left Disneyland. Disneyland it, it, but I, I, I have no. Maybe it left before my lifetime. Maybe it didn't. But I have no recollection. Um, there's a new Pirates of the Caribbean tavern coming to Disney World, Mm -hmm. uh, sometime in 2024, um, at Animal Kingdom, uh, it's tough to be a bug is going away and a Zootopia 3D show is coming. I could see that being good though. I mean, tough to be a bug was really good, but I, I could see that being good. Uh, Disney World and Disneyland, there's going to be new uh, uh, scenes added to Star Tours. Okay. Um, so uh, a lot from the new Ahsoka show is going to be added there. This was announced a couple of weeks ago or about maybe a month ago. But at Disney World, uh, they had a, a Little Mermaid stage show musical. Right. That never opened after COVID. Uh-huh. It's coming back. Uh, and it's, it's all new show called the little mermaid and musical adventure. When does that open? That is coming, uh, fall of 2024. Ah, bummer. So we will not be there. Um, let's see what else. And then Disneyland, uh, we've talked about this. Uh, we have Pixar fest that's coming, uh, April 26th. Um, which, you know, includes the uh, Better Together at Pixar Palace Celebration Fireworks Show. And then, um, actually, no, that is, that's Better Together is the parade, hmm. daytime parade at California Adventure, Together Forever, <laughs> a Pixar Nighttime Spectacular is a fireworks show okay. coming to Disneyland. Um, and then also... Uh, there's Seasons of the Force. Right. Uh, which I'm excited about is the Star Wars music 
during the fireworks at Galaxy's Edge. Yes, Another thing we'll that see. reason why I want to go in May. That means we're going to have to watch the fireworks from Galaxy's Edge. Well, it just means we're going to have to go two days. Just <laughs> one day we're going to watch the fireworks uh, on Main Street mm. in front of the castle. Okay. And then the other day, next day, we're going to have to watch it from Galaxy's Edge. Okay. So, um, and then I think. That is pretty much it. Um, well, I mean, we have our trip. Well, yeah, these are the <laughs> these are the announcements. No, I know, that, I know. Uh, that Disney has, has made. But yes, then we have our our trip, our Disneyland I'm trip, beginning very of February, excited. and then our Disney World trip, middle of February. I'm like not really thinking about the Disneyland trip that much just because Disney World is like a bigger deal, you know? And then I'm like, oh, that's right. We're going to Disneyland. (laughs) (laughs) So. So I hope you enjoyed (laughs) us reminiscing our past Disney year. That will probably not be duplicated. Who knows? We didn't think that we were going to do. Yeah, we didn't. We only had what? The February trip planned and then a summer trip. Yeah. That was all we had in our, and then we thought the Disney world. So like we, three of those trips or four, I don't know. Three. Three. February, summer, no, and then no, Disney no. world. May for the family. Did, you uh, mean the ones that we actually did or no, the ones the that ones, we planned? The ones that we didn't think, we didn't know were happening at the beginning of the year. Oh, okay. May with the family. Yeah. Splash Mountain, mm-hmm. July with the family, yeah, and August with you and I because we, yeah. I mean, we thought we were going to be in Disney World, so we knew that there was a trip planned for August, but we didn't think it was Disneyland. So that one is like a halfy, so like three so, and a half. So how many times did we actually go? You and I or mm, all of us? It just no, there's the how just many like, trips total? Okay, so well, even if, the ones that just I me? didn't go on. Okay, well that was just one. Yeah. So okay, so January. February, <laughs> March, March, April, April May. May. No, no, no. no. <laughs> January, February, two in May, uh-huh. July, uh-huh. August. August, six. So we got six times. Wait, is that, is that right? I feel like there's more. I feel like I'm forgetting one. January for me, February. Uh, for the group. We didn't go March or April. No. May we went twice. July. July. Okay. Six. Six. We went six times. Six times. When we usually go twice. <laughs> That's four extra trips. Oh, man. Oh, but man. There's we pass, got a problem. There's pass holders that are like, um, I go every weekend. So. Well, it's different when you live across the street. Yes. Or 30, even 45 minutes away. Yeah. Yeah. We're a lot farther than that. Yeah. Um, so... But uh, but we hope you enjoyed our our trip down memory lane of this last year. It was and a you fun know, one. You know what? We appreciate all of you sticking with us this past year. Yes, thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you for reviewing. Is that the right word? Our podcast leaving a review, Re- leaving reviews. <laughs> yeah, and you know we appreciate all those who have taken the time to leave reviews, hit those five stars. Listen to us on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, all the different ways. Yes, thank you. Following us on Instagram. We did an Instagram giveaway. Oh my goodness. Yes, we did. We did that. We're real time uh, when we reached podcasters. 500 followers on Instagram. Thanks to Haley with Moms with Magic Crowns for for, uh, helping us out with that. And oh, and we partnered with Johnny J on, or at least I did. You did. You had your yeah. The Soka show. We did the Soka recap. Re, 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 mm-hmm. what, what did I say? Recap show. Um, going over, you know, reviewing that show. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, so who knows what next year will bring? Yeah, twenty twenty four. We'll Maybe see. we'll end the podcast. <laughs> Maybe we'll stop. And be like we're tired. We're done. No, I don't, think, I don't think so. No. The kids have been begging us oh to be gosh. part of every every Sunday night. Every when time we, say we record. record, hey, can we be on it? It's like, guys, no, we got to really? plan for it. And then we never we don't do. plan for our own episodes. No, we don't. <laughs> We're just like, whatever, it's talk. So we need to, like, we, but we need, yeah, like a game or something. Yeah. 
hopefully we'll have more guests, um, you know, uh, on the podcast and, and, uh, have some variety for you all. So, uh, but yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for following us. If you want to follow us, you can follow us on Instagram at, uh, dreaming dot of dot Disney dot podcast. That's and what it is. That's, that's the IG handle. Uh, so until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.